hey hi team in this video i am going to explain the differences between scrollable cursor and non scrollable cursor most of them knows what is cursor in dv2 but in interviews they might ask you can you please tell me the differences between scrollable cursor and non scrollable cursor so in this particular video we will focus theoretical points and differences in other videos i'll explain practically what is scrollable cursor first let me explain what is non non scrollable cursor what is non scrollable cursor so non scrollable cursor is a simple cursor okay so if you are uh, if you learnt dv2 module then you would have learnt cursor concept that is non scrollable cursor that is non scrollable cursor in non scrollable cursor how the cursor functionality will be so we will declare the cursor first we will declare the cursor in working study section after that we will open the cursor in procedure division we will open the cursor when we open the cursor cursor will be placed before first record let's take a this is a table data the one which i am showing on the paint you consider that as a table data so this is first before first record cursor will be placed when you open the cursor cursor will be play, uh, cursor control will be placed before first record when control goes to fetch statement it will read first statement first row then control will go to the in a sequential manner to the second row if you implemented the loop it will read second record then after third record fourth record the data is going to read in a sequential manner in forward approach it is in the forward approach so the data will be going from in this direction in a sequential manner from first record till last record like a sequential read what we call this approach we call that is a non scrollable cursor when you are processing large amount of the data when your table has large amount of data and you want to process then then best option is non scrollable cursor non scrollable cursor but that is not the case always right in few occurrences i may have to read this particular 1005 search and record alone i want to read only one record that that is search and record so without processing before initial before this records so i want to read always the fourth record in a table so i don't know what is the custom employee number i don't know the name i don't know the address but i want to read always fourth record this is the one requirement so i want to read here there are total nine records are here but i want to read fifth record till eighth record so i don't know the content i cannot use between because i don't know the employee number i don't know the i don't know anything range so i want to read fifth record to eighth record always this is scenario 2 this is scenario 2 the another scenario if i want to read if i want to retrieve same record multiple times there are few occurrences i want to read same record again and again so that time non scrollable cursor is not the good option <clears throat> whatever the scenarios i said i'll recap first if you want to hit particular record if you want to read from particular record to particular record or if you want to retrieve the same record again and again this all scenarios cannot be completed with non scrollable cursor these scenarios can be implemented with scrollable cursor so in one line 
I can give in a, in a one line. I can give the answer. Scrollable cursor means you can move further, like move forward, move previous. So we can read previous data, or we can read the forward data. Whereas non-scrollable cursor, we can process the data one by one in a sequential manner. So these are all the major differences between scrollable cursor and non-scrollable cursor. So I have downloaded few points. So I am going to share and explain those points. The main difference between scrollable non-scrollable cursors in DB2 is that scrollable cursors are used to move randomly through result set. So what does mean? We can move the data. We can move the control randomly. As I said, I want to read fourth record or I want to read sixth record out of 10 records. So when you want to process the table data randomly, the scrollable option is good option. Whereas while non-scalable cursor are used to move sequentially forward through result set. So result set and all is very difficult to explain now. It's all together is another topic. Okay. So this is the major difference. We will try to understand more differences by in the by seeing this image. First, we'll focus on the scrollable cursors in DB2. A cursor type available in DB2 that allows the application to access small to medium level results table. When your table data is a small or medium data, then better you can use scalable per cursor. As I said, when your table has huge amount of the data, then go with the non-scrollable cursor. Second difference, programmers can use scrollable cursors to go through the result set randomly. When you want to retrieve the data randomly from the table, we can go with the scrollable cursor. Programmers can use a non-scrollable cursor to move sequentially forward through the data in the result table. When you want to process the data in a sequential manner, top first record to last record, or put the first record till the condition, we can go with the non-scrollable cursor. So when you are processing scrollable cursor, requires more DB, uh, DB2 processing. It will take more CPU memory. Okay, so it will take more time or DB2 uh, require more DB2 processing. Internally to retrieve random record, internally it should go through th some steps. For that it will take some time. That is the reason. So they mentioned here require more DB2 processing. Here require less DB2 processing. Last point, it is suitable when the application requires small to moderate level result tables. When we go with the scrollable cursor, non-scrollable cursor, suitable when the application requires large results table. So these are all the major differences between scrollable and non-scrollable cursor. So we'll see a few more points, okay, which already we discussed in a different way. We'll try to understand how to implement scrollable cursor. That might be your question. Programmers can create scrollable cursor by declaring it scrollable. So first step, we have to mention scroll option while you are declaring the cursor. So we have to mention scroll option while you are declaring the cursor. Then, so he or she can execute fetch statement that specify where he wants to locate the cursor. So once you mention the scroll option, once you mention the scroll option, in the fetch statement, you can mention you want to fetch fourth record or sixth record, what you want to fetch. So that relevant details you can mention in the fetch details. There should be a scrollable cursor when it is required to update the cursor. So again, 
when you are processing the cursor at the same time you have to update or delete so again you have to open the cursor in a different way so in scrollable cursor also there are different flavors are there okay since to in sense to something like that it is there i'll try to create a video for that i'll upload as a, a different video another video so in scrollable cursor it is also possible to move backward so means i am at ninth record so take an example my control at last record so i can control can take to the top also so it can go back backward forward so that is possible okay that is possible it is possible to move backward or move to for a particular position in the result table with a scrollable cursor declaring a scrollable cursor as sensitive will display only the latest data i told you right there is something called sensitive sensitive scrollable cursor okay and there is another type that we will discuss later so already we discussed what is non scrollable cursor so already we discussed purpose also so we have to have given okay so when you have to go with the uh, scrollable cursor when you have to go with the non scrollable cursor all those points already we covered so that's all for this particular video please watch the videos which are uh, uploaded in this particular playlist because all of them related to db2 cursors only thanks thank you for watching and please subscribe share our videos